Mmm. I'm gonna do the happy food dance. Dance, dance to the dead, dead. <laughs> And if this is the first time you're coming to my channel, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a raw fruit breakfast cereal. So it's not kind of like conventional cereal like cornflakes and shreddies. This is more a whole food plant based breakfast that you can have first thing in the morning, quick and easy to make, really healthy as well. You can actually make it the night before and then sprinkle the final ingredient on top. But let's first of all look at what ingredients are included in this recipe. But before that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you'll see more videos just like this one. So the ingredients. First of all, you can use whichever type of fruit that you like. This is kind of like a base that you can go with. But what you can do, look at what I've included here. And if you like a particular fruit, you can add more of that. If some are not quite your faves, you can use a bit less of that or swap it out for whichever fruit you have that's seasonal or local to wherever you are in the world. So today I'm going to be using a pear, a nice ripe conference pear, or not sure if it's a conference pear, but a nice ripe pear. And I'm also using one small apple. This is a jazz apple, so one of those. And I'm going to be using passion fruit which are some, one of my favorite fruits. Passion fruit is really nice. And a kiwi fruit, one of those. One apricot. And then for the juice for the recipe breakfast bowl, we're going to be using the juice of one orange. And then we're also going to be using two and a half tablespoons of a mixture of pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds. So now I'm just going to chop up the fruit. So next I'm going to show you how to cut and peel a kiwi fruit. So I've just cut it in half and the easiest way to do it so that you don't lose much of the flesh is just to take a teaspoon and push it into just below the skin and go all the way round like that. And then you just can see like that and then you just take it out in sections like that and that's it simple as that it comes out beautifully if it doesn't come out that usually means it's not ripe but there that's how you do your kiwi fruit and I learned that from somebody from down under and then the second half I'm going to do that as well So then what we're going to add next is the passion fruit. So I'll just scrape, so I've chopped it in half and you just scrape the seeds in, like so. And just take out all of the flesh, like that. It smells so nice and this is just such a lovely healthy breakfast to have first thing in the morning to get you ready for your day. All right, so you can give this a bit of a stir to distribute the kiwi fruit a bit, the passion fruit rather, a bit, and to, so you can see all the different colors. Now, the, passion, the fruit salad can be a bit dry so this um, would require some orange juice. So just get one orange, fresh orange juice, 
one fresh orange and then just get one of these juices and then just juice it straight into the bowl. So this is kind of like a fruit salad but with the volume turned up, I would say. So you do there. So you can do one orange. Um, for this I'm doing one orange. If your orange is very small then you can do two or if you like a lot of juice you can do two large oranges or two medium. Either of those is fine. And any kind of orange is fine. And some people may prefer grapefruit. You can juice the grapefruit as well. That'll be perfectly fine too. So you give that a stir. And then the final ingredient you're going to sprinkle on top is your pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds. Now if you're making this the night before, you'd make it up to this point, but don't put the sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds on until you're ready to eat it. So you just put it in the fridge overnight like this and then sprinkle this on top. Or if you're going to eat it now, you just sprinkle them on top. So let's go and sprinkle them. And then you stir. So it's distributed all the way through. Some people like to add raisins and cranberries and dried fruit as well. You can if you want, you don't have to. But I think that's about all that we need. So what fruit would you include in this? Comment in the comment section below and let me know. What fruit would you put in a dish like this? And we are using today pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds. You can use other seeds as well if you like or nuts. Comment in the comment section below and let me know what you would use. And if you've made this dish before, let me know. Also, if you do make this, take a picture, put it on Instagram and tag me. Here is my Instagram handle. And that basically is it. That is our dish for today. So now that's all that is left to do is for me to try the dish. I'm going to get one big spoonful. Mmm. I'm gonna do the happy food dance. Dance, dance to the dead, 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 dead. <laughs> That's so good. Mmm. Very nice. And I like the little crunch. Mmm. Fantastic. I think everybody should try this <laughs> it's not really a difficult dish and you're not really cooking anything so it's a really great dish to make so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to click and subscribe and turn on the notification bell eat good eat clean eat blessed thank you so much for watching see you next time bye Hi, I'm Curly Sue, and if this is the first time you're coming to my channel, welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to be making a raw food. <laughs> Sorry, start again. So it's on record, so you can start when you're ready.